however, and a maximum temperature of 6 Celsius. Just worth reiterating with regards to the weather, if you can't get out overnight, like mine was, give yourself an extra couple of minutes. You are going to need the credit card, or possibly the DI says it's extra organised. There's quite a thick frost this morning. That might have a minus 3.5 Celsius driving into work. So if you've got the commute to do the forum, uh, just be advised with regards to that. Right, we shall ding in a moment. BBC Radio Cumbria, listening. He gave me a call and said, can you come and collect my things? As I arrived at the place, he was out of the door very quickly, and that was the last time I saw him. We provide 24-7 cover. It is very difficult, but our priority remains finding that missing person safe and well. Anyone with information is urged to contact the Looking for Marcus Rigby Facebook page which is run by his family. I sometimes wonder if it's him that's holding himself back and thinking, hey, they won't want to see me now, but that has never been the case. BBC Radio Cumbria, listening. Now, from the guide, happening around Cumbria today, we have the Barrow Male Voice Choir at the Nantate Centre on Abbey Road. They meet on a Monday, every Monday, between 7.30 and half past nine. And in Whitehaven, we've got Scottish Country Dancing, also starting at 7.30 this evening. It's held at the Morrow Working Men's Club. It's suitable for any adult who's maybe looking at, uh, you know, a little bit of exercise, good, hit, and also a good social evening as well. And it's only two hours, two pounds per evening, for two hours worth of practice. Anything for the guys? Let us know. Radio.cumbria at bbc.co.uk. Right then, let's ding, shall we? Friday's answers, in case you missed them. Into the Groove by Madonna was the tune. A.A. Milne was born on Friday in 1882, best known for his book, Matt and Bear. Name the Bear, that was Winnie the Pooh. And a financial institution from the South East, Kent Bank, in the south of the county. So, they were Friday. Where do we end up today? An insect becomes part of a short comedy sketch. That's your cryptic Cumbria. Hopefully that clue will lead you to a location in our county, but where? Where is